In this lab, we will create AD Manage using the Centrify suite. We will use an example based on the DBA group that we have provisioned before. Everything is going to be performed from client one using Jesse's account. The first place to start, as we proposed in one of the postings, is with planning. We need to know where the, the, the Active Directory group that is going to correspond to the units group is going to be stored. In our standard, we decided that we were going to put them in the Unix groups OU. So we're going to create a group first, and it's going to be called, uh, based on our naming convention, it's going to be called Unix dash HQ for the zone dash the actual um, uh, objective of it and uh, the type. Now that we have the group, we can go ahead into Access Manager. And all we need to do is navigate to the zone, into the Unix data node, and right-click groups. We can create the Unix group, find the group that we just created, just type Unix. That is why it's important to have a naming convention. convention. So the, the next, we need to basically set a GID. Notice that by default, we set up the GID based on the SID of the object but we can override it and let's just call it 10,001. And uh, we're going to call this group name. We're going to make it friendly to Unix and Linux. So we're going to make it uh, less than eight characters. So this is going to be DBDAGRP. So the next thing we need to do is very simple is to populate the group. So I can just go to the group and uh, go to properties, go to the members tab, press add. And Jeremy, as well as Raymond, are the two people we're gonna have in there. So Jeremy, check the name here. So now we have our a seeding at AD group, and we also have the equivalent group in Unix. Let's go ahead and test it. So if we go ahead and open, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Let's go ahead and log in as Jesse. I have not fixed this user, but let's go ahead and do that. Notice that he can still change directories, but that's okay. So um, to make sure that the user is in there, I could just use the ad group ad query group command if I want to. And um, most likely, I have an old information in there. Uh, this is because I have not flushed the cache. So let's go ahead and flush it. This is the Active Directory, password to elevate, which I don't seem to remember. And there you go, there you go. So um, we flush the cache. So if I, if I do a AD query group, we will see the DBA GRP. And notice that J Silva and R Jimenez are members of those. Uh, another thing that I could do is I could use the get 10 command and I could do uh, get 10 for group and um, that's it it'll it'll post me all the all the groups so let's do a grep and there you go so this is everything coming from uh, um, NSS if I wanted to add to the group, it's as simple as this. I can just go back to Active Directory, Users and Computers. Let's say I wanted to add Jesse to the group. Um, if 
if I go right away, and these are some of the effects of the, of the cache. This is a great exercise to think about the cache, right? Every um, 3,600 seconds or an hour, the cache is going to be refreshed. But this may not be acceptable to you because you're making changes right away. But in a production environment, you don't want to make, you don't want to be doing 80 flushes all the time. So that's why the SLAs are in place. So and if I do now a 80 query, you will see that now J Matthews is a member of it. Very simple. If I need to remove a user, again, um, simple administration. This can be done through uh, any script, any identity management tool. So let's remove Jesse. 80 flush. Clear. 80 query group. Now he's not there. The most important thing to understand is with Centrify, a lot of the groups that exist today for the purposes of enforcing the least access role maybe net groups and things like that, uh, and also groups that are used for suitors become deprecated. So the best thing that you can do is have an exercise in which you're looking at your groups that you have today and asking yourself, what is this group used for? Is this group going to be deprecated by some of the functionality brought in by Centrify? And then you will see that the number of groups that exist in the Unix systems is going to be decreased significantly. Tomorrow you can tie this to if you have an identity management solution that can either drop a user into a group or take them out of the group, you can incorporate that uh, to your management model or even use uh, workflows. You can have a workflow that requests an approval to have the person to join that group or not based on, on rules that you have in the business. And that's it. This is the lab for groups and uh, hope you're enjoying the, the lab so far.